Oh my god, you guys came back. I'm super excited for this one. I'm Landon. You guys are top tenors. You're the viewers. You guys are awesome. We're going to have a lot of fun with this. We're going to learn a lot today because this right here is the top 10 incredible facts about the moon. A lot of it I bet you guys didn't know about. So let's not waste any time. Let me know what top 10 video you guys would like to see next in the comment section below because I read every single one of your guys' comments. And you guys should follow me on Instagram at Landon Productions. And let me know your guys' Instagram accounts in the comment section below and I'll follow some of you you guys. Alright, enough of that, let's get into it, starting us off in at number 10. So the moon was formed when a Mars-sized object collided into Earth a billion years ago. The object is called Thea. This is why the moon and the Earth actually share a lot of properties, like its oxygen isotopic ratios. The giant impact hypothesis became popular in 1984 when tests were conducted showing all the similarities. The moon is Earth's only natural satellite that we have in the solar system. It is also the largest and relative to the size of the planet that it orbits. Okay, number nine, the dark side of the moon, uh, yeah, it's a myth. People believe that half of the moon is actually dark, but in reality, both sides of the moon actually see the same amount of light. However, only one side of the moon is ever seen to us on Earth. And this is because the moon rotates around on its own axis in exactly the same time it takes to orbit the Earth, meaning the same side is always facing us. We never get to see the other side. So if you ever stare at the moon or have a binoculars or a telescope, you'll always see the same craters and the, the same everything on the moon because it's just the one side. In at number eight, did you guys know that the moon is actually slowly moving away from us? It's afraid of us. It's running away. It moves approximately 1.5 inches away every year. It is estimated that it will continue to do so for the next 50 billion years. I'm not even sure how someone can make this prediction. I mean, we can't even get the weather forecast right for the next day. So if this is true, the moon will take 47 days to orbit the Earth instead of 27.3 days. And I'm talking about 50 billion years from now. So what is the effects of this? Well, the days will increase slightly. Also, the Earth could slow down enough to become unstable. If we had no moon, our tides would be so tiny. Nights will be much, much darker than we're used to as well. Because the only natural light that we have at nighttime is the moon and the stars. Okay, moving into lucky number seven, there is no sound on the moon. So sound needs something to travel through to get from one place to another. On the moon, since there's no air, sound cannot travel above the surface. So there is no sound on the surface of the moon. When the Apollo astronauts were on the moon's surface, they could not talk to each other and the only way they can talk to each other into mission control was by using radio. Number six, it is extremely cold and then it gets unbearably hot. This kind of sounds like Canada to some degree. When the sun is shining on the moon, temperatures can climb to 260 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hotter than the boiling point of water, which is at 212 degrees. And on the moon side that's not facing the sun, which you guys call the dark side of the moon, that remember it's a myth, well that can get down to negative 280 degrees. Now that's cold. So did you guys know that there's ever been 12 humans to walk on the moon? This incredible fact comes into number five. The first manned mission to the moon was the Apollo 11 mission, Americans Neil Armstrong was given the honor to become the first person ever in history to walk on the moon. The moon landing was about 46 years ago, which was back in 1969. Neil spent about two and a half hours on the moon outside the spacecraft. The second mission to the moon was the Apollo 12 mission. This was four months after the Apollo 11 mission. The crew size of the first mission was three people. The second mission was three people again. Between 1969 and 1972, there was six manned missions. But we've not seen a human to the moon since the 70s. I mean, this is such a long time ago, and this is why it brings up the theory that there was never a moon landing because why were we able to do it in the 70s but we have all this technology now but yet we can't send someone up there. So a large percent of Americans actually think this was a hoax. So we're actually going to be visiting the moon again in 2020 the same year Kanye West could be president after possibly taking the reins from Donald Trump. Every full moon has a different name and this fact comes into number four. So this is a lot to get through, exactly 12, so bear with me, I'll go as fast as I can. January's full moon is called the wolf moon, February it's the snow moon, March is the warm moon, April is the pink moon, May is the flower moon, my moon, June is the strawberry moon, the buck moon is in July, in August it's called the sturgeon moon, September we have the harvest moon, October is the hunter's moon, November is the beaver moon, and December is the cold moon. Well, not for if you live in Australia, because the seasons is opposite to us down here, you know, in Canada, because 
I don't know, I would call it the summer moon. Or the hot moon. So let me know which is your moon in the comment section below. Number three, the moon does have gravity. In fact, it's one sixth of Earth's gravity at its surface. There's a calculator that determines how much you guys weigh on the moon. So I put into the calculator, I weigh about 160 pounds. And in the moon calculator, it did all its calculations. And on the moon, I would weigh about 27 pounds. I think we should all go to the moon. And I also got a little bit curious and I'm like, okay, what do I weigh on other planets? What if I was on the sun? So I would actually be the heaviest out of like any other planets or suns would be on the moon and I would be about 4,000 pounds. The lightest I would be on is Pluto. I could pretty much fly because I would be nine pounds. I could probably finally dunk a 10 foot net or maybe like a 50 foot net. Who knows how high people can jump. So all of these numbers are determined by the planet's gravity or the moon's gravity. The more gravity there is, you know, the heavier you become. All right, we're in at number two. The rise and fall of the tides on Earth is caused by the moon. There are two big bulges in the Earth due to the gravitational pull that the moon exerts. This is called high tides and low tides. The sun also affects the Earth's tides, but because we're so far from it, it doesn't have, you know, much of an effect. Our tides is mostly determined by the moon. Okay, so we've all made it into number one for incredible facts about the moon. So far, we've learned that the moon is slowly drifting from Earth. The dark side of the moon is a myth, only 12 humans have ever stepped on the moon, and we might be sending more up there in 2020. Well now, in at number one, there's no atmosphere on the moon. There's no protection on the surface from cosmic rays, meteorites, asteroids, comets, or solar wind. This is why the moon has such huge temperature variations, and it's covered with impact craters. The lack of atmosphere also means no sound can be heard, like we all learned in a previous number on this list, and the sky is always black. Well, there you guys have it. That was the top 10 incredible facts about the moon. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. I can't wait. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and what top 10 video would you guys like to see next? I like to mix it up here. I like to do very, you know, intellectual, intelligent things. I like to do stupid things like dumbest tweets on Twitter. I know that's a really popular one for you guys. Let me know what top 10s you want to see in the comment section below. We'll try to cover it all. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It is so much fun to make. And I'll see you guys all in the next video, which is very soon. Bye.